you guys know that they announced at Comic-Con uh, this past weekend that they announced a movie we were expecting, which was Avengers Secret Wars. We, we, we've been saying for a couple of weeks we kind of expect that one to be done. But what we didn't expect, what I thought was kind of the biggest surprise of the thing, other than the 18 episodes of Daredevil, was a second Avengers movie that was going to come before Secret Wars called Avengers the Kang Dynasty. And a lot of people thought that maybe that might be the Russos, but Kevin Feige confirmed it's not going to be them. But we now have a director for at least the first one, Avengers Kang Dynasty. And I couldn't be happier, dude. It's the director of Shang-Chi, Justin Daniel. He's going to be directing this Avengers movie. Oh my God. I think this is fan freaking tastic. I mean, look what happened. Kevin Feige brought on uh, the Russo brothers. They did Captain America Winter Soldier, and that went great, whatever, and they started laying out groundwork. I think this is fantastic because I think, and I know I, I like it more than, than most people do, but to me, Shang-Chi is a top five MCU film. I really believe that. I, I love this movie completely. I think what Destin did with this movie is nothing short of remarkable. He clearly had like the whole movie felt like it took place in the MCU, even though other than Wong showing up, whenever we never had to have a lot of other MCU elements in it. it. The action was superb. The humor was fantastic. The, the narrative and the way they weaved in the mythology was incredible. And I, if, if this is his big at a boy, congratulations reward, this is damn exciting. This is damn exciting. You know what? When we somebody brought up the other day, who do you think will end up directing it? I said, well, you know me, ex director in, in X movie, whatever. But I, you know, I try to go through the Rolodex in my head. There's an old word for you. I try to go through the old Rolodex in my head. I'm like, okay, so who could direct it? Could be this person, that person. I never even thought about Destin. Never even thought about it. And this breaking right now, I think this is fantastic. Other than a Steven Spielberg or, or something like that being announced, or maybe uh, Edgar Wright. Ooh, that would have been a delicious Ooh. name too. But other than an Edgar Wright or, or, or Steven Spielberg, I, I think this name gets me really more excited than most other names would have. Anyway, Rob, you're just hearing this news now, as we all are. What do you think of this? We got our director for Avengers, uh, look, Kang Dynasty. Like you, I really like Shang-Chi a lot. And this story, like, I don't know... As we know, John, they always they use the original comic stories for inspiration. The Kang Dynasty storyline is monstrously huge. I mean, it takes place in space. It takes place on Earth. It takes place all over the place. There's so many different factions. It's a monstrous story. They blow up Washington, D.C. They kill millions of people. That's in the comics. When I heard that they were doing this, it kind of, for me, came out of left field. Secret Wars, I understand. But this, like, I have to say I'm more excited for this than Secret Wars. I don't know what they're going to do, but this is a monstrously huge project that they could easily have split into two movies. Uh, this is going to be dope. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm I'm excited. <laughs> Chris, you hear about this. What's your take on it? Oh, I'm chef to bits. I love this. He's amazing. Shang-Chi was so good. It was so, so good. And to echo Rob, I mean, it's a 16-part comic story. Hoof. Woofda. And it's huge. It's yeah. Scary. It's huge. So I think we saw so many wonderful, vibrant concepts come to life in Shang-Chi, right? We made the fantastical feel so grounded. We introduced some really uh, odd, whimsical concepts to the MCU. So I really think this is in good hands. And I, I also think that it, it's an indicator of where the Ten Rings kind of come from. Yes! I think mm -hmm. that, I think that they're, they're going to move that into... Clearly, clearly, the, the 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 future of the multiverse saga is taking place before our eyes. We're not going to do like the alien like, dragon race. It's going to be well. Kang. It's going to. I don't know how it all works together, mm -hmm. but between Miss Marvel, between the Ten Rings, between the Kang Dynasty, it's all coming together. Yeah. Let me. Here's an interesting thought too. It's it's very interesting that they're announcing that he's directing that one, but not Secret Wars. Because you, you'd almost think these two movies, considering they're releasing like six months apart, that they would be shot concurrently, that they'd be shot back to back, right? So I'm kind of surprised to not hear that he's directing the second one. Now, maybe that will be an announcement that comes later, but I have a feeling that this what this would suggest to me, if they're getting him to direct this one and they're going to get somebody else to direct Secret Wars, that kind of tells me these be may be more separate movies than even Infinity War and Endgame were. So I don't know. What, what are your thoughts on that? Oh, I, I totally agree with you. 
And I think I think they are going to be made concurrently. But because one of them is very much, if they follow the comics, is very much set on Earth and in space and all that, Secret Wars, if they go to Battle World or however they, it's in a very different place. So I, I think that they're going to make them concurrently because the cast will all be together. But they're going to be like two totally separate, different movies. So I think it would be difficult to film them be, just because the sets are going to be totally different. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I don't know. I'm talking out of my ass here, but that's what I would think. And I wouldn't be surprised if the Russo brothers are directing Secret Wars. Oh, well, so you're switching off of the X-Men and now you're going to Secret Wars? Well, no, I'm not switching off because I don't think the X-Men are going to get made until after. Right. I don't think I think they're going to get made afterwards. But I think now because they're going to start production, they're going to start pre-production of these movies now. Well, now we know that uh, the Russo brothers are going to be busy with a gray man cinematic universe. <laughs> so, <laughs> maybe maybe like Zack Snyder who got poached by Netflix to do Rebel Moon, the Russo brothers are off into their own land, which I could see, but I do think that Secret Wars and Kang Dynasty are so very different whereas Infinity War and Endgame were really one story. Whereas the Kang Dynasty and Secret Wars are very different stories. So I don't know how it's going to work. All I know is this is a monstrously huge undertaking, both of these movies. Right. I just want, so this director is going to have his hands in this, this movie, the Shang-Chi sequel, and Wonder Man, right? I, I don't. Those three properties? I have no what, idea. I, 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 like, I think he's there's never been, they've never officially They've never mm. officially come out and stamped Shang-Chi 2. No, and, so, I and mean, they've announced they're developing Wonder Man, but... Yeah, so I mean, uh, that leaves a lot of questions up in the air right now, so it's going to be really fascinating to see. Anyway, I'm sure we're going to get more details in this it, it coming soon. Guys, the question is for you. What do you think about this? The director of Shang-Chi, which, which I love, I mean, I think it's one of the best Marvel movies ever made, is now going to be directing. Apparently, Kevin Feige agrees because he got him to come in and direct the next Avengers film. What are you guys thinking about that right now? Whatever your thoughts are, jump down into the comment section below and leave those thoughts there. Hey, guys, we want to take a second to thank the sponsor of this video, Ryan Reynolds, and specifically his delightful company, Mint Mobile. So look, after years of fine print contracts and getting ripped off by big wireless providers, if we've learned anything, it's that there's always a catch. So when I first heard that Mint Mobile offers premium wireless starting at just $15 a month, I thought, what's the catch? But after talking to them and using their service, it all made sense. There isn't a catch. And guys, this is no joke. I have been using Mint Mobile for months now. And on top of the fact that I'm spending literally about one third every month of what I was spending on my former major carrier, I have discovered no decline in my service. I kept my phone number and I was able to keep my phone. The switch from my old service to Mint Mobile couldn't have been easier and saved me more money. And the best part for anybody who just hates their phone bills is that Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for just $15 a month. All their plans come with unlimited talk and text plus high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and keep your same phone number along with all your existing contacts. To get your new wireless plan for just $15 a month and get the plan shipped to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash campia. That's mintmobile.com slash campia cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash campia